guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a day in the life video. Today is Wednesday and I did not want to leave this week with just one video because last week, as you guys may know, I took a break last week and I had filmed a video, like pre-filmed it, and I did upload that video on Monday, and that was a what's in my kid's Easter basket for this year. So if you guys wanna check that video out, it'll be down below for you guys, just in case if you guys missed it. But yeah, I just wanted to do a day in the life video, like a chill, yet I am doing something video, I guess you could say I am going to do what I usually do. I am just going to tidy. Yesterday I mopped the floor so today is just a tidying up day. Putting away a butt ton of toys especially since now we have a little tent for my kids. That is like a whole story on itself because I'll tell you the story now before I go into the things that I want to say. So we bought this Auntie Pants um, tent fabric. Me and my mother-in-law, we did not read because we do get kind of everywhere when we have two kids when we're going out. So we bought the fabric for it and I did not realize well, I probably should have realized because the packaging was small and I don't know, I just didn't realize that it didn't come with the uh, connectors and the rods and everything. And I'll admit, I don't know what I was thinking. This is like hashtag mom brain. Um, so after we went home and we realized that we just got the tent fabric, which is like a cottage tent fabric from Auntie Pants. I, we had to go out to our local Target because we went to a Target that was, it's kind of close to us, but it's out of town, but it's close to San Jose. So we had to go to our local Target and we had to get the connectors for it. So I bought the connectors and the connectors were expensive. I mean, al alone with the tent fabric, the tent fabric was $17.99. That's why we were like, for that price, you would think it would come with connectors, but I think for like a few dollars more, there is a separate box. It's like a big box, almost the same you would get for all of the connectors together. And, like 20 something dollars for that but we we already bought the uh the tent fabric itself so i had to go out and purchase the uh connectors and this is expensive <laughs> but considering we got all the connectors for all of the anti pants you know tent or all the anti pants like tent uh play playpen playhouse uh, like stands and stuff like that for the connectors because you can buy a lot of things like, like I said so I don't know I have not had a good sufficient amount of coffee right now so I am sorry <laughs> I am sorry for my explaining if it's just terrible but all in all we were in the end just like well we can just get the kids you know on their birthdays or Christmases to get the other stuff like the playhouse fabric the lemon stand fabrics there's a lot of fabrics and a lot of things you can do with the connector kit that I got for the tent so other than that <laughs> um, I wanted to touch base and just let you know how I'm feeling since I did take a week off of YouTube last week and I feel so much better I feel like a whole new person and I feel happier I feel more like myself and my stress and anxiety levels are pretty much non-existent and I am so happy about that because let me tell you which I haven't told you which I didn't tell you on the video last week when I the stress and the anxiety levels that I was feeling before I did yoga and just before I took time for myself, my neck, I was getting like 
tension in my neck from all that stress and all that anxiety. So I am glad that I am taking time for myself and I am doing yoga because I enjoy doing yoga 30 minutes a day. That's how much I've been doing lately. I do want to do the um, 30 day yoga challenge from Yoga with Adrian. I love her. I actually found her um, from Sorella on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you have to follow me on Instagram because if I'm not here, I'm on Instagram. And quick side story, I wanted to be able to track the calories that I was burning with or without exercising and I totally remembered we had a Apple Watch. <laughs> My fiance purchased, purchased an Apple Watch last year and he has not used it since, since the first two months after he bought the Apple Watch and I took it. <laughs> I took the Apple Watch and I bought two new bands for it because for some odd reason, the silicone band that you get with the Apple Watch it irritates my skin and my skin is the most sensitive skin ever. I had acne on my face for like a long time and it had it was actually worse, but that's a whole other story which I'm not going to go into unless you want me to, but other than that, my skin is really sensitive and when I was wearing the uh bands that came with the Apple Watch, it was really irritating me and I just couldn't stand it after the 2 days that I wore it and so I bought a new I bought two new bands and this one is a uh, silicone but it's much thinner I don't know if you can tell but it's much thinner it's really thin right here and then the band itself isn't as thick I don't like thicker bands and I think the Apple watch is really thick so I bought this one. This one on Amazon was like $5 and then I bought a leather one also from Amazon for $12. Yeah, baby. And so I am loving those. For some reason, leather does not bother me. Even like pleather doesn't bother me. This one doesn't bother me unless I get like water inside, then it'll bother me and then I have to take it off. But other than that, it does not bother me like the one from Apple, so I'm glad. I also got a silicone, I think it's silicone, a clear, I don't know what it is, but it's a case. And I had a case that my fiance had purchased, but it was just like all the way around. But um, this one is like a screen protector too, so I really like that. That's what it looks like. I did have a rose gold one because I bought a two pack and this one was like seven or eight bucks for a two pack of these screen protector cases. But me and my clumsiness, my um, other one I had to throw away because it got scratched. It's a good thing that I have this screen protector case on or else the Apple Watch would have gotten um, scratched but I'm glad I will think I'll get I'll just keep getting the the clear screen protector case not the rose gold one because I can't <laughs> I can't but anyway I am feeling like a new person and I just want to take you guys along with me and I don't know if I said this but I am making coffee I I did make coffee when I got up, got up from, got up and out of bed. But like I said, I am coffee insufficient because I made regular coffee. And mother-in-law, my mother-in-law came home one day from Costco with Vietnamese coffee. It's like a powder Vietnamese coffee. And ever since then, I've been addicted. I love Vietnamese coffee, and I love the fact that I can make. Vietnamese coffee at home yeah baby and so I did not enjoy my regular coffee and I'm making myself the Vietnamese coffee I'm waiting for the water to boil so 
I'm gonna start off with coffee first before I do anything else. And I have to tend to my son, he wants something. So I will check back with you guys with whatever I'm doing. So my water is done boiling. This is how much Vietnamese coffee I'm having. Um, so this is what it looks like. And this is instant coffee, obviously. And in here it has um, co the coffee, sugar, and non-dairy creamer. And this is what it looks like. You are supposed to put just one of these in um, a mug, but I think it's supposed to be kind of like an espresso or something like that because they say you're supposed to put like this in 2.5 fluid ounces. <laughs> so for this size of a mug, you have to actually put three. And it's actually not as um, strong. It just all depends on how much water you put and how much packets you want for the desired strength you want. And this is how much I want in my coffee because let me tell you, if you put just one packet in like 10 or 20 fluid ounces in a cup, that exceeds the 2.5 fluid ounce. Um, it's not gonna taste good. It's gonna taste actually like watery instant coffee. <laughs> so you actually have to put this amount. And this is my new fix. I do not like regular coffee anymore. The only regular coffee I'll take is Starbucks. <laughs> Gonna stir it up. This is this coffee is the bomb. So if you guys go to Costco and if you like Vietnamese coffee, then I totally recommend this. We actually are already more than halfway through our first bag. And me and my mother-in-law actually went, I think, three days ago to get another bag. And we also got another bag for my mother-in-law's uh, mom and brother. We're going to see them. I don't know when, <laughs> but we're going to see them soon. And we bought, them, we bought that for them and a few other things. So, as you can see, we really like this coffee. <laughs> And then what I always like to do, I always like to taste my coffee. But I already know this one's good. I don't know why I like Vietnamese coffee so much. I think it's just different. So while my um, coffee is cooling down because I cannot drink that hot scalding coffee right now, I wanted to show you the uh, the tent. So this is what the tent looks like. It's open in the back and the front and it's a cottage tent fabric. There, There is another one that's kind of like an actual tent where there's no window on the other side. It's like, I don't know what it's called, a wilderness tent, but it is all gray and it has like mountains on the sides. Might get that for my son just so that way we have, you know, two different ones. But yeah, we, we really like this tent and how it looks. We were actually thinking of getting a teepee tent, but we weren't really liking the designs online and in store. So we just decided to get this when we saw it. Also, this tent style, just an actual basic tent style, really suits us more than the teepee tent. Plus, I don't know if you can like take apart the teepee tent and put it away, but this one you can put away. So, I actually like that. But I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this out here for long. We might have to put it away sooner than later yeah baby but yeah 
for now we're just gonna keep it out here for as long as my son's gonna play with it. If he stops playing with it, then we'll put it away. Also, for the past few days, my both my son and daughter have been going through their biggest milestones. My son is learning how to uh, talk, which I am so in love with. I love hearing his cute little voice. And my daughter is actually um, learning how to sit up by herself. She has actually um, perfected that and she can sit up by herself, but if she is trying to walk. She will pick up, pick herself up. She'll hold on to like the couch and then she'll pick herself up and stand and then sometimes you'll see her trying to stand and walk by herself, but she's getting there, she's getting there. I think by next month she might start walking and she's not even eight months yet. I remember my son, he, she, he started, my son started walking around I think 11 months, but he did a lot of the, you know, picking himself up while he holds onto something at 10 months. So I think she's going to walk at eight months, which is totally freaking weird because my mom claims that I started walking around eight months. So that's weird. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. So today I do not want to bring out my bigger tripod. So I'm going to try and use this Gorilla Pod that I purchased when I had purchased my camera. I actually have mixed feelings about this now. I kind of regret buying this Gorilla Pod because I don't use it. <laughs> and I actually want to get like an actual mini tripod for, you know, when I'm holding the camera and stuff like that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gorilla Pod. This was such like instant buyer's remorse. I don't know. I didn't like this, but I am going to try and use it still.
gave my son some Cheetos because I was snacking on some earlier when I was enjoying my Vietnamese coffee and it's bath time now. He's almost done actually. <laughs> he was covered in uh, some Cheetos on his face, the cheese and on his hands. So I figured why not just give him a bath and I did kind of tidy up a little bit, like quick, quickly tidy up in the living room. I'll show you guys once my son is done with his bath. and getting ready to film me folding the clothes and baby girl woke up from her nap which is actually on time because she did go down for a nap at 10 or something around close to 11 and then it's already one o'clock so it's about the time since she woke up maybe i can have her <laughs> she likes the camera right now Maybe I can have her play by my feet so I can <laughs> so I can fold clothes because I have a lot of fold clothes. I have a lot of clothes that I need to fold. And it's a lot of your clothes, Bebas. You and your brothers. And mommy and daddies, I'm not gonna lie. We do contribute 
to a lot of clothes. <laughs> mm, you. Uh oh, Sesame Street's on Elmo. Elmo. Both of my kids love Sesame Street, and my son loves Elmo. But I don't know if this one will want me to put her down now. When she likes to watch something, <sighs> she likes to watch it with you, holding her. But she's weird though. She likes to be held, but sometimes she doesn't want to sit still, which will be hard for mommy and whoever's holding you. Mm -hmm. putting all my clothes in the laundry baskets. I am actually really surprised that this time there was a lot of clothes from both me and my fiance rather than it equally being me, him, and my kids. My kids had uh, not that much clothes. It's just like a little small load and me and my fiance had a lot of clothes. I think it's because we got new clothes lately. I think that's why. And I had to go grab this girl because she was not having it anymore. <laughs> Were you not having any more? Huh? Do you want some milk? Huh? You want milk? <laughs> okay. She wants milk. She knows. So my daughter is on the floor again, so I'm going to tackle my fourth load of laundry. And it actually looks like um, part white clothes and part sheets. I remember last week I, last week I uh, washed our sheets and I replaced our sheets. So yeah, this one was from last week, you guys. That's bad.
dryer and now I am going to start doing my fiance's work clothes. <laughs> and my son totally wants to be here with me. So I have a little special guest. So I just got done folding the fourth load of laundry, or was it fifth? I cannot remember anymore. I'm pretty sure it's the fifth and last one. Um, I'm gonna end the video here today because by the time um, my fiance's clothes are done being washed and dried, my fiance and everyone else is starting to come home and it is actually already 3 13 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up also if you like this video and these kind of day in the life videos let me know down below in the description box i always enjoy your guys' feedback and also most importantly do not forget to hit that subscribe button it is actually free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you guys are notified when my videos do go up so you don't miss any videos okay so I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys